Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Accurig to Unreal Engine 4.27 tutorial. Somebody asked me how, you know, you can take an Accurig character and pretty much retarget it into an Unreal Engine 4 mannequin to be used, say, in this third-person template right here. So let's go ahead and go ahead and close this here. What I'll do is I'll create a third-person template right now, and I'll just... Name this AccuRig. And let's press this. And that's going to create that. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to Sketchfab and download another model that we can kind of rig using AccuRig. So let's go to Downloadable. And I'll just type in here Character. And then I'll just grab this free one right here by 4D Bob. Let's download this. And there it comes with three. So what I'll do is I'll open this up in Blender. So I have that file that we just downloaded from Sketchfab right here. And I press 2A, double A, and then delete. Go to File, Import, FBX. And I'll go to my Downloads, Cyberpunk Character, Source, and then CPD. All right, so in here, you're going to see that it comes with three characters. I'm just going to go grab the middle one. So I can go ahead and delete this one. Delete all the bones, because I don't need it. And I'll delete this arm. Grab the glasses, pretty much just clean it up in here. And that's why I love Blender. There's an eye layer here that I can delete. And then I just want to make sure that everything else that I want is all here. They're all separated, but that's okay. So we have a shoulder. Go ahead and unlink that. And then I'll go ahead and un unlink all this that I don't need. Because technically, I just want this character right here. All right, so one arm, dude, hat, hood, mask. All right, so that's all the components. And then what I'll do is I'll press A and then Control J. That's going to join everything into one. All right, and I'll just go to File, Export, FBX, and I'll just go back to that folder. And I'll just title this Accurig. I'll just import the mesh, no animation, uncheck leaf bones and then for the geometry I'll choose face for the path mode right here I'm gonna go copy and then I'll export so once that's done exporting from blender I'll go to Accurig and I'll go to my download cyberpunk character and now we're gonna find this character here that we just exported now it's not centered all the way so I'll go ahead and center it by just moving this arrow right here Perfect. And I'll just go ahead and click on rig body. All right. So the actor rig is going to try to guess where everything is. And I think it did pretty good. Although I'm going to move the shoulder area kind of just down a little bit more. Because this has to be kind of like on the base of the neck. And I'll just move the neck down. Okay, that's the mouth. We'll take a look at the shoe. Make sure that's good. And what's interesting here is I picked this character because this hand is like robotic and this is a human hand. So I'm really curious to see how well this is going to rig, you know, each hand. So rig right hand. All right, so let's go ahead and move this around. Just make sure it's set pretty good. I feel like I have to move these here. Kind of like the very tip of the fingers. I'll just adjust these. So that they are in the right spot according to this right here on the top right. Alright, so I'll move this just kind of up by on the knuckle area. Just like so. And again, I'll just move these down. Okay. Move this as well. So this be right here. And then I'm going to move this thumb area right here. And then I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to click on it and just rotate it pointing up. And then I'll just move this to the tip. 
All right, so that looks pretty good, I think. Look at it for different views. And again, you can spend a lot more time in here if you want. So we'll click rig, left hand. Now here is the robotic one. And overall, wow, it did actually pretty good. Just move these into place, similar to what we did earlier here. Which is cool because it's, it's already a crease there, so we have kind of like a line. We can just line it up with the crease. I'm probably right here. It's a robot. And it looks like it's already pointing up the right way, so I'm just going to leave that one be. Let's go ahead and finalize. And now this is going to auto rig the entire thing. Okay, so here is our character. Let's go ahead and take a look to see how well it did. Well, it actually did pretty darn good. How about a walk cycle? The arm space is good. Oh yeah, the finger is just, because it is robotic, I guess. It looks kind of weird. Just for that one, because this one looks pretty good. All right, so what we'll do here is, since we're going to want to retarget this to Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin, I'm going to go ahead and export this, FBX, and I'll go to Unreal, and then export. Now, I am talking to Relusion and kind of make this automated, what I'm about to show you next. But for now, just follow along, and you're going to be fine. And what I'm going to do is actually send you a downloadable file so this is pretty much automatic for you as well so the next step we'll do is go to that folder that i created and just drag and drop that fbx that we got from accurig and if i reset this to default i'll just put the check mark for the first two if you don't see those click down right here don't put anything in the skeleton and then press import so now we have the character and i'll click the skeleton right here and you're going to notice that there is a prefix, CC base. Now, this is the reason why we can't use it straight to an Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. And like I said, I already talked to Relusion about this, and I'm hoping they will kind of fix it in the next update so that we can just, you know, use the UE4 skeleton straight away like we used to do with CC3 characters. All right, so I'll save that for now, and then I'll go to Retarget Manager, and then I'm going to select Humanoid. Now, if you're on Unreal Engine 5, you're not going to have this, all right? I will make an update on how to do this in Unreal Engine 5 later. And as you can see, since this is not sharing the same bone skeleton name as UE4 Mannequin, it's only going to find a root, and that's pretty much it. But lucky for you, I went ahead and just did this manually, and I'm going to let you all download it so you all can just load it in. So for me, I'll just click on Load, and I have this bone mapping Accurig. And it's already all set up. I go to show advance. I already set up the fingers as well. You can mess around with it if you want, but this is good to go. Now go back to skeleton tree and then go to options, retargeting options. So to make sure everything but the first three in this case is set to animation. And then skeleton, then the last three up here should be set to animation. And then skeleton down. Press save. And I'll minimize this. All right, so we already have the third person mannequin here. So I'll just go to that. I'll open the mannequin. Go to skeleton. Now we have the root pelvis spine. So I'll go to retarget manager. And since this is a UE4 mannequin, it's already going to be set up. But if it's not, just choose humanoid. And everything should be loaded. I'll go back to skeleton tree. And just pretty much make sure we got everything correct. Root pelvis is set to animation. And everything else is at the skeleton. Since we exported it in Real Engine for Mannequin, this pose should match this pose. Okay. We'll go ahead and minimize this. So what we'll do next is go to third person BP, blueprints, third person character, and I'll go to viewport. I'll click the mesh, and then you're gonna see an atom class right here. Click this eyeglass thing. Minimize, and now you're going to see this third person and MVP. Now, since both of our skeletons are similar now that we did all that uh, retargeting stuff, I can right click on this now 
retarget that in Blueprint and duplicate this Blueprint. And then you're going to see our accurate skeleton. And then I'll just press retarget. And now it created another Anim BP. And it also retargeted all the animations needed to run this Anim BP. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back to the third person BP blueprints, third person character. And I already have the mesh selected right here. I can now select our character, is going to be humongous because I didn't scale it properly in Blender. So I'll just type in 0.01 .01 in here. It should be good. Now let's kind of lift him up a little bit. And then I'll change the animation blueprint to this one. And you're going to see that he's going to start moving. I'll compile and save. Now if I press play, our character is now retargeted to the UE4 mannequin third person. Now he is floating a little bit, but you know you can just adjust that in the blueprint. But that's pretty much it. And depending on your character, your your rig might be a little bit better because obviously this one looks kind of kind of funky looking. But I know somebody wanted to know how you can retarget your accurate character onto the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. For now, this is how you do it or one of the methods you can use to do it. But in the future, I'm hoping we can just import and select the UE4 mannequin as a skeleton and we can skip some of this stuff. All right. If you all have any questions, let me know. And if you like this video, you learned something from it, please do like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. Peace out.